let's do <laughs> one layer for everything. This area is less, less textured here. So we're going to do a side diagonal hatch here on the area that doesn't have a lot of fluff that's really close to the skin. Anytime you have something that's close to the skin or kind of has human skin texture, your safe bet is a side diagonal hatch. So go super light here. Keep the handle of your pen kind of, you know, loose, loosey-goosey. Don't worry about drawing over the the uh, nose. The nose is going to get plenty of layers of shadow. So if you have a, sha uh, a little bit of shading on there, that's okay. Do the same thing with the tongue because the tongue's kind of a lot smoother than your fur. Think of texture here. You want your lines to kind of emphasize your texture. And then same here for this part of the mouth. Avoid your teeth, shade around your teeth. Don't outline your teeth, just shade around them. We're gonna get rid of this extra pencil line here in a minute. Perfect. Okay, any white area, leave it alone. Leave it alone. We're gonna work on the tongue and the lip area and the nose, okay? Add your second layer, but go in the opposite direction. Still remain loosey-goosey kind of maybe in the middle of your pen or pencil. Control that pressure. Tighten up that those lines so there's less white there. Yep, add your second uh, set of shading around the teeth. Don't outline the teeth. Shade around it. Your instinct is going to tell you to outline the teeth. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just shade. Shadow is not a hardcore outlined item. It's, it's just not. It's, it's constantly fluid and it moves. Um, so you don't want to outline it. You're going to flatten your image if you do that. So add a third layer to the black lip part part that's the darkest, maybe maybe just around the tongue too. You're going to want three layers here of side diagonal hatch. And then we'll move right into the fur. Okay, Maybe even kind of add just a little scratchy layer where your fur is on the outside of your chin. Kind of, kind of help you separate that area. Do the same thing on the outside of your blaze. Kind of add a scratchy kind of, because this line is not one solid curve. It literally kind of moves in and out of the shape. You want to emphasize that. You want to kind of emphasize the natural kind of way this fur moves around the body. All right, let me get this nose here because it's looking kind of wonky. I'm going to leave the top of the nose a lighter layer because there's light shining on it. And then the bottom half I'm going to add an additional layer. See what I did there? To kind of emphasize that there's a three-dimensional shape here. All right, let me know. Are you ready for the fur? Beauteous. All right, get rid of this extra line here. You don't need it. It's going to throw you off. Okay. Kind of imitate wild, free-flowing hair on the outside here. We really want to emphasize the scruff. Do the same thing on the inner part of your body. All right, your scruff is going to face down towards the ground when it comes to wrap around a curved, the curved cartilage of the ear. So that's why I put my, my fur scratchy marks where I sort of put them down towards the ground. Now, when your cartilage moves up and around, so is your fur. Your fur is going to go up, see, up. Around. Same thing.
thing here. Up and around. Now feel your face. You feel how like there's like a plane of bone going in at a diagonal towards your eye. It's almost kind of like like a, a shelf. Well, your dog's going to have that too. It's going to have a brow bone. So right here, you feel the bone. It's kind of curved. You're also going to have a curve here in your shadow. So here's my brow bone. And I'm also going to have, it, you feel your skin kind of going in a slant at a diagonal. Your dog's going to have that too. Right here on your cheekbones as it go on, underneath your eyes. You're gonna, your dog's going to have that too. See? It's going to go whoop. These are the eye sockets. Muscle wraps around said bone and then fur is on top. So your fur is going to move in the direction of the bone. And this is just a really slight curve. As you're moving more towards the bottom of the body, your curve is going to go, it's going to get less curvy. It's going to start slanting down. That's because the gravity is pulling the fur down more. And you just want to repeat this kind of, you know, you want to repeat this idea across the body. So right here you have shoulder bone, it's wrapping around and down, right? Well, your fur is going to wrap around and down. Around and then down. Keep it loosey-goosey. This is just layer one. Okay? So what I would do is like this chocolatey color. Lighter black would maybe be like two or two layers, maybe three, and then um, your pitch black be at least four or five layers of ink. And I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to um, outline this area. I am shading in the shape. Don't outline whatever you do. All right, let's add some shadow in the mouth. Let's add a secondary layer here. Darken the area that's just underneath the mouth to give it some sort of three-dimensional effect here. And I'm going super loosey-goosey on the underside here. I don't want to go too dark too quickly. All right, let's kind of, you know, spread this out a little bit. Kind of need the shading to kind of tone out. And let's kind of repeat what we did here with eye number one. We're going to repeat with eye number two. Add that extra layer here. Add that circle of light and that pitch black pupil. I see it. This is too much white here, so let's kind of close this in by adding an additional layer of scratchiness. He's so cute. So fluffy. Love it. Now it's time for me to push and pull my values. You can tell here that I'm moving my pen around on areas that need a darker color or a darker value. And I'm also going to add an additional layer of side diagonal hatch to my tongue because my tongue isn't supposed to be this light. There should be some shade in there. Right, so we'll just do some flicks here and there for the grass. Just want to make my lines a lot 
different, longer, more defined, different direction, different length than my fur. I, I don't want my, uh, what do you call it, my fur to get confused with what I have here. So I might have to add a little more thickness or another layer to the edge of my dog here to kind of establish what's going on. Because I, I really, the grass is at least two layers, so maybe my dog should be at least, the black part should be at least three layers minimum. So I want my grass to be well defined. I want it to have maybe uh, three different layers of shadow. So near, near the base of my grass is going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to need at least two, if not maybe three layers of ink in that area. As I move up towards the sky, my layers of shadow are going to get lighter and lighter.